Hello fellow e-commerce enthusiasts, welcome back to our Shopify journey. Today we're tackling a crucial decision, choosing the right payment provider for your store. I am Steven and in this go-to guide for making the best choice. By the end of this tutorial, you will be equipped to make an informed decision that suits your business needs. First of all, you need to understand the payment options. Bef before we dive into the selection process, let's understand the difference between payment options available in Shopify and the pros and the cons. So, the representation of the base rules of major payment providers could be PayPal, could be the, even the Shopify payments, but sometimes, depending on the country you're currently living, this one actually are not able to accept it into payments. What you can do to have more information about that is to go directly into Shopify payment providers by country, and it's going to be showing you an actual e-commerce supported countries block that you can check out. So depending on the country you're currently living, you can check out the payment uh, for your actual store. For example, here, hello, I'm a virtual herb center assistance. I here to help you find the answers. Uh, how can I help with Sweden? For example, let's say that I want to sell from Mexico City. What are my payment providers? So this actual section of Shopify is going to be helping you to find out the best payment provider and to see which one fits for you the best. So make sure that here are uh, like a resources that you can choose. For example, the bank account requirements for Shopify payments are only available into all of these following letters. The personal information requirements of the Shopify payments, acceptable documents, and much more elements. So um, to find the best solution, uh, to have the factors to consider, let's go practical. I will walk you through this, the key factors you should consider when choosing a payment provider, which is of course the very first one the actual rates. So, how do you check out the factors you can see there? First of all, let's try to look out for the payment providers. What I wanted to do is to go into my Shopify store, guys. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can always start it totally for free. So, once you're here into your dashboard of your Shopify, let's get directly into settings. Inside settings, what you want to do is to focus into payments. Now here in the payments, we needed to enable a payment provider in order to accept payment methods at a rate set by a third party. So what we wanted to do is to choose a provider. We can choose by default PayPal. We have the payment capture method and we have the manual payment method. This is for example, when you wanted to receive the custom payment method, like for example, like a bank deposit, a money order, cash on delivery, for example, maybe you can go and try to look out for something else. For example, um, uh, you can try Western Union, for example, this is where you can send money online from the United States. There is the fee from zero dollars, for example, that sort of depends on what you're actually trying to aim for. So how do I find popular payment providers? To make your decision making even easier into some of the most popular payment providers among the Shopify users, everybody uses uh, the Shopify payments and the PayPal. But once again, this is totally depending on how and where you're actually based uh, located because sometimes it's not uh, available into your country. So to find the best payment provider is obviously needed to go directly into settings and the payments and go for choose a provider. Now here, this is the very important part. You see that we have the third party payment providers. As the upper side, we have Stripe, for example. There's the Bogus Getaway, there's the Air Wallex, there's the CyberSource, there's the Ocean Payments. Uh, these are the elements that actually appears into the country I'm currently living. Now, in this case, we are actually into Mexico City, so that's the reason why there's a lot of third party providers that appears in here. If you wanted to choose something totally specific, you can try to aim for the capture method. So for example, the automatically add checkout on uh, here. Now, usually what everybody does and what I do love to use is the preferred uh, third party that Shopify uh, accepts us. In this case is Stripe. Now, in your case, it might be something else, but in my case, it appears as preferred. How do you make sure of that? You go back, go into the choose a payment method provider, and you should see that you have an actual element here that says preferred. That's the reason why you wanted to make sure that this actual uh, account accepts the money you wanted to aim for. Now, if you wanted to only, let's say, charge within a specific um, payment method, what I want to do is to filter it. So I click in it, into the filtering let's say that i only want to accept apple pay 
and Google Play. I don't want it to accept Visa or MasterCard. So for me, the best solution is the Air Wallet because we accept all of these elements and we accept Apple Pay and GPA. So to configure the third party payment provider, once you find the base payment provider for you, what you wanted to do is to click on it. And then what you wanted to do is to install the provider. Now this, in this case, is gonna be sending us directly into the installation of the card payments. So I hit into install the application and you need to follow along the instructions to start accepting money. In my case, it says you are not accepting payments with Earth Wallex. Why is that? Because we need to finish the setting up our account with the provider to start accepting payments. So let's go here into manage account. This one, of course, is gonna be sending us into the official website of the third party, which in this case is the Earth Wallex. So it says login to your account. Our wallet's card payment. Since we don't have an actual account, let's go for create a free account. Now, I don't want to walk you through the process of creating an account because it's actually really, really simple. You just provide with the information, your first, last name, business, email, passcode, and go directly into your password. So I'm going to keep this part for you. Once you have choose the payment provider, is going to be peering into the upper side. Now, usually, if you are not ready to choose a payment provider, everybody does to PayPal because the transaction fee, it is actually really, really low. So what you just need to do is to complete the setup in order to activate the PayPal. And what's going to happen here is that PayPal is going to be sending you directly into the PayPal.com when you need to create an account here, verify your account and say that you're an actual business and provide your actual URL. The process is actually really, really simple and you don't have to do absolutely anything else after you make the verification process. So that's how guys, we can start adding payment method. That's how we can add payment providers. And well, there you have it. The best solution depends on where you are currently based and depends on what are the actual elements that Shopify told you to add depending once again where you're currently at. There you have it, a comprehensive guide of choosing the perfect payment provider for your Shopify store. Now your journey has simply transaction style with the right choice, guys. If this guide was helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, drop any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember you have the link down below in the description of your Shopify trial version and a really huge deal. So cheers to successful transactions and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.